Hi everyone, this is Amanda at Amanda's Booktopia. If you are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. And today we are doing my June TBR for the month. And well, this is going to be a huge TBR. Let's put it at that, shall we? It's my birth month. The 11th is my birthday, the actual day, which is a Sunday. And I'm also going to be in, in Orlando from the 9th to the 11th as well. So I will try to bring a book or so. Don't know how much video I'll get done while I'm in Orlando because I'm going to be in a conference for people with disabilities and advocacy. So that's going to be a big thing. And well, we're going to try to squeeze in as many books as possible. I am not taking it easy on myself. <laughs> so I have counted all the books that I have here next to me. There's 15 here. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, and this is not counting the group book for Camp Seasonathon. And I will get into that in just a moment. So in total, that's like 16 books. <laughs> I'm pushing it because Normally, I could do maybe 12 in a month or so, depending on my reading speed or, or if I'm in the mood to read. Um, because when I'm filming this, today is currently May 28th? Yeah, 28th. So, I am currently in a reread of the Harry Potter series and I'm currently in the sixth book and I wanted to finish it before the first. So I still have another book in that series to go. So as soon as I get done, I'm going straight into Camp Seasonathon and we're going haywire, folks. <laughs> For those who don't know what Camp Seasonathon is, it is a big readathon. Um, completely Melanie. It's all on her channel. I will link her down below if you want to join us. Um, she is the leader of Camp Einstein, which is her dog, and it's so cute. All the teams are like have their dogs as mascots. So we also have so besides Molly, we have Kaylani from Kaylani Simply Me. I'll link her as well, and her camp is called Camp Bailey for her dog, and then Clint from Reads Readers. He is Camp Chewy for his dog. So. And we're, there's different prompts for the different teams. So you select the team you want to be on, and then based off the prompts from their team, you pick your books. And I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 books that I have for the 10 prompts for Camp Seasonathon on, on I Joined Completely Melanie's team. So go Camp Einstein. Hopefully we can win. Don't worry, Clint and Kaylani, I love you both. But I am very excited because I have all my prompts listed here on the back of an activity sheet. <laughs> I ran out of paper, so I had to use something. So I wrote it all down because I have it all on my phone, but I use my phone to film. So I could not read off of my phone. So what I decided to do was write it all down so I could tell you which book fits into each prompt. And then I also have books for Buzzwordathon with Kayla from Books of Lala. And then we have my Thrills and Chills book for June run by Dana at Dana Ella. I will link them down below as well. And then I have completely Melanie's TBR knockouts. And one of them I was able to fit into a prompt for Camp Seasonathon. So woohoo for that. And the other one, I did not fit. So I will be reading that separate from Camp Seasonathon. And then I have a buddy read that from the Coffee Patrons of Completely Melanie. We all are going to be reading the same book together for the most, for the most part. Megan is a book buddy of the month, so she chose the book that we're reading, and I will share that with you momentarily. And then the last book was an add-on. I wasn't intending to read it this month for June. However, I was on a live show with uh, for Dana's Thrills and Chills for the last pick that we read for May, and everybody convinced me 
that I needed to read this book. And so I will be reading this book. I added it on to my TBR. So this is gonna be a very, very busy month. My birthday, Orlando, and all these crazy amounts of books. And so what in camp season I thought we're counting pages. So the bigger the book, the better for your team. So I got some chunkers on here, let's put it that way. <laughs> and for a completely Melanie's team, she has 10 prompts that I will be reading each book from. And we will start with the first prompt that I will tell you is a standalone. So I have lots of standalones, right? And since for Camp Seasonathon, you need to read lots and lots of pages, I decided to pick the biggest book that I have as a standalone. I looked it up on Goodreads, it's like, because I was able to order it in like page numbers. And this is probably one of the biggest books I have on my TBR, probably one of the biggest. And that's, so for a standalone, I ended up choosing Anastasia by Sophie Lark. This has, how many pages? Let me look. It has quite a bit. It has, 656 pages, folks. 656. That's a lot of pages. <laughs> but I want my team with Camp Einstein to win. So we are going for it. We are doing the thing. <laughs> and not only that, but it's also floppy. Which I love floppy books. Who doesn't, right? So I'm hoping I could get through this one. So Melanie, if you're watching, go to Camp Einstein. <laughs> and then, huh, that's a heavy one. The next prompt is animal on the cover for Melanie's team. And since we're trying to do maximum amount of pages, this was pretty high up on that page list on Goodreads on based off the books that I own that is I'm only going off the books that I own because I do not want to buy more books when I when I just don't want to I'm just going to use the books I have on my shelves so for that reason I recently hauled this book but we're going there it is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons and I've heard so many great things uh Cassie from Coverage with Cassidy loves this. Um, Mel from Eleanor Reads. And I know there's a couple of others. Pro I think Stephanie from Stephanie's Book Verse. And Kaylee from Kaylee's Books. If I remember, I will, I will link all them down below if you want to check them out. But this is also a big book. And we need the page count. We need to win. Melody, we need to win. <laughs> but I really wanted to make sure we got lots and lots of pages done. So let me tell you how many pages this book actually has, not including the glossary, because there is a glossary at the back of this book. But the very last page is 542 pages. So we're going there. We're gonna do the thing and get it done. <laughs> At least we're gonna try. I was originally going to use a part of the orange shirt because I started it and it has even more pages than this one. However, I asked Melanie, she can only count the pages that I read during the month of June. And I started it before June. And well, I decided I wanted to read a whole book instead of part of a book. That's the only reason why I picked a book I haven't started yet. <laughs> and then the next prompt is water on the cover or in the title. Now, this one doesn't have a ton of pages. However, I've heard a lot of great things and normally I don't read a lot of romance, but there's some contemporary feels in there. So we're gonna give it a shot because I know the um, there's a new book from this author in the same series that recently came out 
So I'm gonna try it, see what I think. And that is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. <clears throat> There's not a lot of pages in this one, so this will be an easy read, most likely. There is 304 pages. So not too terribly bad. I'll probably get this done in like a day. So at least it's a start. I'll probably start off with this book because it's probably the smallest in this TBR. And well, it'll be easy. So if I manage to, what I can do if I wanted to, I could add more books for the same prompts again if I choose to. Don't know if I will. However, if I do, I could probably read another book with water on the cover and the title because I have some others that could work for this prompt as well. But we're gonna go with a short book just because I need a short book in my life right now. <laughs> I haven't read a lot of long ones, so. And then the next prompt is a book with a monster. And so for that prompt, I went with The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldovsky. And the reason why I chose this for a monster for the monster prompt was because well there is a killer in this book so well, a killer can be a monster right <laughs> so we're gonna go with that we'll say the killer in this book is a monster and this has four hundred and sixty six pages so I think we can do this this one shouldn't be too hard for me to do at least in a short amount of time so we're going to go with it and hopefully I'll enjoy it. <laughs> and then the next prompt that we've got is a four plus word title. So for that prompt, I am using one of my TBR knockouts because this work, because it not only does it work for the TBR knockout, but it also works for the four plus word title. And so for the TBR knockout prompts, they have two prompts from Completely Melanie. She's the one who runs the TBR knockouts. So one of the prompts for June is to read a book with LGBTQIA references or as a whole, however you wanna throw that in there. And so for that, I chose The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's definitely a four plus word title and it has those LGBTQ thrown in there. I've heard so many amazing things about this book. So I am very excited to check this one out. I don't think I've read any of Taylor Jenkins' read yet. I do have some of her books on my shelves. I just haven't actually picked them up and read any yet. And it's like during Evelyn Hugo's like part of like this whole Hollywood scene um, and it goes all the way back to like the 1950s and up to the 1980s and all kinds of crazy stuff and well even Melanie told me because I love Genuine Lies by Nora Roberts this is very similar to that is what she told me so I am hoping that is just as good as Genuine Lies because I really like Genuine Lies it's my favorite Nora Roberts book and then the next prompt we have for Camp Seasonathon for Melanie's team is the Goodreads scroll. You just scroll through Goodreads until you find a book that you own. And so I did that before filming, just to make it easy on myself. And so the first book that came up that I own is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This was recommended to me by Melanie from Completely Melanie because I was book shopping at Target one day and I needed a recommendation and she said this was really good. This happened to be at Target when she recommended it to me. So I picked it up and I know there's a lot of people that love, love, love this book. I've heard quite a lot of good things and I don't really know hardly anything about it except that there's some magic and found family aspects. So I am definitely excited to delve into my first TJ Klune book. I have Under the Whispering Door as well, and I haven't read that one yet. However, I am willing to give this a shot, and it fits in for um, my Goodreads scroll prompt. It was the first book that came up, so we're going with it. 
besides the acknowledgments, there's 396 pages. So, not terribly bad. I could probably get this done pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot to check the pages for Evelyn Hugo. Let me check the pages of Evelyn Hugo, because I did not check. So, Evelyn Hugo has a total of 385 pages. So, that's not bad. I could get that done pretty quick. And this is around the same length. So, yeah, these are pretty short books for me. So, hopefully I'll get these done pretty quickly. And then the next prompt for Melanie's team is a reread. And so, for the reread prompt, I am going with Grace Lane by Kristen Kishore. I read this book before a long, long time ago. I forget how many years ago, it's been quite a while since I've read it, and I have forgotten quite a bit of the book. So I have pretty much the whole series, I'm only missing one book in the series, and that's the very last one, but until I get that book, I decided to reread this one and try and get back into that world again, because I heard that the rest of the series is really good, and I want to be able to read the rest of the series series at some point and Grace Lane I know a little bit that there's like magic and the girl the girl's name is Katza and she has all these combat skills and then they all have these graces that get that tells like it gives them some t type of magic they can wield of their own and um something that you know that they are able to do with that magic and it's been a long time a really really long time since I've read this book so I am excited to read this again and get back into the series and let's see how many pages this actually has 471 pages not terrible at least it's under 500 pages but I am excited to read Graceland again and dive back into that world. So I am definitely looking forward to it. And then the next prompt for Completely Melanie's team is a beautiful cover. And I have a lot of books that have really nice covers. However, this one I thought was probably like the most beautiful out of all the ones that I own. Or at least up in that range. So I'm going with Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. I know she also wrote these Violet Delights series, uh, duology that I have not yet read, but I am excited to read that book at some point. I know I'm getting it in the mail as I don't know when, <laughs> but it was a pre-order because it was a special edition. So I'm excited to get that. But in the meantime, I have Foul Lady Fortune, and I know there's a second book following this one coming up. So before I get into that one, I wanted to check this one out. And it's in Shanghai in 1931, and that's all I really know about the book. But I like historical, and I'm hoping there's some fantastical elements in here. Cause I love magic and fantasy and you know I love historical so it's right up my alley and this cover is gorgeous I'm loving the cover if only I could get this sticker off <laughs> it would be even nicer without the sticker however I don't know how to get the sticker off without damaging the cover so if you have any ideas on how to get these stickers off without damaging the covers please let me know down in the comments because it's really hard to get these off but I am looking forward to reading this for Camp Seasonathon, so that will be my beautiful cover book. And let me see how many pages this actually entails. 511 pages. That's a good amount of pages. And then the next book, well, the next prompt really, is Book with a Game. And I have quite a few of those. However, the last prompt for Completely Melanie, the last prompt is actually most anticipated. And the one before that one is involved with the game. And both of these books are like, 
pretty much my most anticipated reads anyways. They were in my most anticipated list when I made that video for you guys, along with the five star predictions and all that stuff. And these books were in that video. So I might as well figure out, you know, I'll knock out two books with one stone. So let's do it. Why not? So book with a game. The first one, at least that prompt. This is also a very anticipated read for me. It's All of Us Villains by Amanda Foodie and Christine Lynn Herman. And then the most, then the prompt for most anticipated is the second one, which is All of Our Demise. So I figured I might as well knock two birds with one stone and get these both done. Because I have heard some mixed reviews, but I've heard more good than bad. So I am excited to read, the, read this duology. I'm hoping I'm really going to enjoy these books because I love dystopian and I love games and books. And it sounded to me like it's very similar also to the Hunger Games a little bit with some magic thrown in, I'm hoping. So we're going to give these a shot. So this is for Book with the Game. And this is most anticipated. Well, technically they're both most anticipated, so put them together. We got the last two prompts. How about that? <laughs> Let's see, all of us villains. How many pages does that one have? Uh, 384 pages in all of us villains. And then for all of our demise, let's see how many pages is in that one. Four hundred and sixty-eight pages. So this is a little bit longer than all of those villains, but I am very much looking forward to reading this for Camp Season of Fun. So I'm looking forward. To it. And then the very last one. It's not really a prompt, but it's a group book for Camp Season of Fun. That is Love Theoretically by Ally Hazelwood. Ally Hazelwood will be live on Completely Melanie's channel sometime in June. I don't know what day yet, but because she, we're having her back on Melanie's channel again, um, she's coming out with Love the Theoretically, which is the third book in that um, series, kind of, sort of, of like the STEM woman. So the first one was the Love Hypothesis. The second one was Love in the Brain. I liked the Love Hypothesis. Gave it four stars. Love on the Brain, I ended up not finishing. I wasn't crazy about it. But I do want to try at least give Love Theoretically a shot. I don't want to buy it and end up not liking it, like what happened with Love on the Brain. So what I'm gonna do is probably try and see if I could get it through either my library or on Libby or something. I just don't want to have to spend physical money on it in case I end up not being crazy about it so i'm gonna at least try to find another way of getting that book just so i could say I, I did try to read it for camp season of fun so i will find some out some way to get that book onto my tbr and hopefully i'm hoping i will i will like it at least a little bit <laughs> i don't want to not like it because i hate not liking books and i hate giving books a low ratings so I'm really hoping it's going to go better this time around. And then, now for the other books that are not part of Camp Season of Fun. And, well, we were talking about this on this first book. I was talking about it with Dana on Dana's Live for Thrills and Chills. We were talking about the book that we read for May. And then this book got brought up. And I said I had it, but I haven't read it, but it sounds amazing. And Dana's like, girl, you gotta read it. Especially the audiobook. The audiobook's amazing, Dana says. And everyone else is like, yes, you must read this book. And I'm like, you know what? I'll try to add it onto my June TBR. So that's what we're doing. And then it's gonna be Sadie by Courtney Summers. I know Dana said how great, great, great she loved the audiobook. She said it's kind of like a graphic audio where you and there's like a some kind of element with like a podcast 
and then you get to hear like background noises like when they're in a restaurant you get to hear all the people kind of mumbling in the room and that sort of thing and yeah it sounds it sounds really good the book and I know Dana really really wants me to listen to the audio so what I might do is read the physical book along with the audio and I'll probably also be kind of sort of buddy reading this with my fiance Ray because he says he wants to read it too and he only does audiobooks so we're gonna be well I'm gonna try and read along with the audio while he's listening to the audio and I'm hoping I will love this book because it sounds really really good it's about this girl named Sadie that goes um, missing she they say that she's a runaway oh I guess I'm sorry so actually Sadie doesn't actually go missing Sadie leaves home after the brutal murder of her little sister and then she's Sadie's on trying to avenge her sister's death so it becomes a subject of a big podcast and so we're following Sadie in this story as she tries to avenge her sister's murder and I am definitely looking forward to reading it because I've heard so many amazing things and so I I'm really hoping I will like it as much as everybody else does and I could talk about it with everyone and say, oh, I read it. I loved it. <laughs> and then the next book that I'm reading for June is The Buddy Read for Completely Melanie. Um, Megan, she is our book buddy of the month and she chose this book. I've actually read it. She, this is the first book by this author that I actually read like quite a few years ago. And she, did, when Megan picked this book, I'm like, Oh, it's been so long since I've read it. I don't want to buy it, but I'll borrow it from the library. So that's what I ended up doing. So that's November 9 by Colleen Hoover. It was my introduction to Colleen Hoover, and I enjoyed it enough to want to get read more of her books. So I have done so, and I own some of them. Um, Verity is probably my favorite book by this author. But I am looking forward to reading this one again and hopefully familiarizing myself with this book because it's been a really really long time since I actually did read it so that's what we're gonna do and I'm hoping I will uh, re enjoy it as much as I did the first time around and then the next book is our thrills and chills book for June I can't remember if it was Dana Mel or Clint that chose this book but it's for Thrills and Chills with Dana, and well, I read every book that she does in that book club, so I am very excited. And that is All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers, and I've heard a lot of amazing things, and I think the author has something, the author has, like, involved in some kind of podcast, I can't remember for sure, but... Um, I am looking forward to reading this and I convinced my fiance Ray to also read it so that way he could discuss it with us at our next live show for Thrills and Chills. So I'm definitely excited that he's going to be reading it with me and hopefully we'll both enjoy it. I'm looking forward to reading it. <laughs> and then the next book is an, another prompt for Completely Melanie's TBR Knockout and Besides the LGBTQIA prompt, there's another prompt where i um, reading a queer author. Apparently this book that I'm reading, that I chose, actually includes both. But I can't double up, unfortunately. For a TBR knockouts, you are not supposed to double up. So that's why I have Evelyn Hugo for one, and I chose this one for the other, so that way I'm not actually doubling up. And that is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. And I have heard so many amazing things about this. I know I'm not a huge, huge, huge into romance right now. However, this is a special edition. I got this from Barnes & Noble and I absolutely love the special edition because check out the engraving on that. And then the engraving on the back. I absolutely love it. And I am very much looking forward to checking out this book, even though I'm not really into romance right now. I am hoping it will be better than I expect because I know it has um, 
LGBTQ in it as well and I do know that the author is queer as well so not that I know much about her but that's what I've heard so I figured you know might as well use it for that prompt why not <laughs> so we're going to and hopefully I'll like it I'll keep you guys updated and then the last book that I'm reading for June is my buzzword book so the buzzword for June is to have the word other in the title and for a while this took me a really 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 long time to find a book for that prompt and eventually I finally found something because I read Local Woman was seen by this author as well and is actually one of my all-time favorite thrillers and for that reason alone is the reason why I picked this one up as well because it has the word other in it and that is The Other Misses by Mary Kubica at least I think that's how you pronounce it and I got this from the library because I didn't actually want to physically buy the book I just wanted to read it and not have to worry about like trying to find space on my shelf for it so I got it from the library and I don't really know anything about it except that it's a thriller and I guess there's um this there this neighbor is found dead in these um in this family's home in Chicago actually not in Chicago in Maine because they moved to Maine but it's where they find this woman's body and then it rocks the whole town or the island that they're living on and so they try to find out what actually happened with Morgan and who is the killer and all that stuff and because I love Local Woman Missing I thought it would be great to read another book by the same author and luckily it has a buzzword in it other so I am looking forward to reading another one of her books and I'm so 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 hoping I will love this as much as it is, as I did as Local Woman Missing. And that is the very last book I am le reading for June. So that's quite a bit of books. So we have all my Camp Seasonathon books, Buzzword, TBR Knockout, Twirls and Chills, and a buddy read. So we got a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot of books. And I was potentially going to put another book on. But after thinking about it, I don't even know how I'm going to get through all these books for June. <laughs> because it's my birthday month. I don't want to go too crazy to the point where I cannot finish any of the books. So we're going to go with baby steps and try and do the best that I can with what I've got. I hope I don't have to add on anything else after all these books because this already is like what 16 book lists <laughs> and normally I don't read 16 books in a month at least not usually I very rarely do so but we're gonna go for it because I still ha I don't have a physical copy of Love Theoretically and I don't plan on buying it so that's going to be like a whole other thing. <laughs> but we are going to do our best because it's a lot of books. And June is, what, how many days? 30, 31, I can't remember. <laughs> but, you know, with my birthday coming up, I don't want to go so, so, so crazy where I, you know, I can't think. <laughs> And I do want some time in between books to do other stuff because I'm also going to a show on the 18th, which I'm looking forward to. And let's see, anything else for June? I think that's everything. So that is all the books I will be reading in June. Hopefully, I don't have to add any more. We'll keep it as is because a lot of books, a lot of pages, but we're going for it. <laughs> So, good luck to me, right? <laughs> we are going to do our best. Well, I'm going to do my best. So, let me know down in the comments if you're participating in Camp Seasonathon and what you might be reading for it. And if there's any books here that you've read that you liked, 
feel free to let me know. If you're going to be reading any of the same books, tell me that too. If you've read any of these books, feel free to let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I think that's everything. So thank you all for joining me. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and more bookish content, click that subscribe button down below. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video.